All right, guys, welcome back. Uh, got a new project for you today. What we're doing is we're building, we are going to be building a couple of uh, saloon doors to go in our kitchen over at the uh, Veteran Center. So I'm going to show you how to do this. And uh, it's real simple. And uh, Jonathan's here today to help me. So he's going to sand this for me. And we're going to make it pretty and we're going to stain it. And then uh, I'll show you how I'm going to do that. All right, guys, what we did is we cut two 12 inch pieces and we cut two 36 inch pieces. This is going to be the sides, this is going to be the top and bottom. What we'll do is we'll cut these down to two inches. We'll rip these down to two inches. Everything will be two inches around. Then we'll cut a two by six with a pre design at the top. And I'll show you how we're going to do that.
So what I, what I did was I cut down a quarter by quarter inch uh, trim pieces or whatever you want to call them. And this is what's going to hold uh, the slats inside. So you can see them going around. So we're going to use to do that. We'll glue and tack these in. So I'll show you how I'm going to do that. There you go guys, we got her built. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna sand this down and get it all roughed up, get it all pretty and stuff and we're gonna stain it. Um, also, we routed the top, we routed this down so it's not a hard corner. We'll make it softer and uh, easier on my hands when you touch it. So uh, I'll show you how we route that. Now the bit I have in this is just a simple round over bit. There's all there's all kinds of bits that you can use, make it decorative or whatever, but right now we're just gonna focus on this top. We're not doing the sides or the bottom or anything, we're just gonna do this. So let me just show you how we do that. As you can, hopefully you can see that. But it's just a round over bit and it's still hard. And what we'll do is we'll put it on the table over there and we'll sand this down, make it nice and pretty and level and we'll take a hardness out of it. So let's do that.
So what we're going to do now is we're going to paint these uh, uh, dark walnut stain and see how that turns out. All right, guys, this is what we got. We got two um, saloon swinging doors that go both ways. Now, these doors, I originally built them. This should be over here, and this one should be over there. But you can put them however you want to, but I'll show you what it looks like. And the reason I built them that way is because of when people walk in and out, you have a little bit of vision in the center to see people than you would if that was in the in the middle of the thing so so there we go you can put those either way they're versatile and uh we'll go ahead and put some hinges on this and i'll show you how to do that see this here is for the door and the other side is for the door jam so you'll know exactly how to put it on So anyway, this is what we got guys. We got the barn, saloon, slash whatever, old western swinging doors there. Got the hinges on it. Got the hinges on them. See? That's what they look like. Something simple. So there you go, guys. Me and Jonathan. Say, so, hey, John. Hey, guys. What's going on? So me and Jonathan uh, built some uh, saloon swinging doors. And like every project, we have every stinking tool out. Stinging cords, dirt, sawdust. It's everywhere. And now that's where everything begins. Going back and putting everything uh, up and cleaning up the mess we made then uh, we'll go and hang these doors on Monday at the center so hope this helps any if you have any questions any, uh, just put me in the comments down below and I'll, I'll be happy to answer anything you got but just use your imagination look at pictures on the internet and use your own design I did the design I used at the top of these I, I didn't have no pattern nothing going on. I just guessed at it and went on so whenever you, you can't really screw it up because if you make if you make one of these, use a pattern from one and you make the second one. And that way you don't have it screwed up. Alright guys, me and Jonathan finished our uh, 
saloon doors. Got the hinges on it. On both of them. So what we gotta do is take it over to the center and, and uh, put them up on Monday. So uh, that's Jonathan. Say hey, John. Hey, what's going on, guys? But, uh, he's my sidekick, and he helps me do a lot of little projects and whatnot. So we hope you guys enjoy this build. Uh, let us know what you think about it in the comments below. And as always, just don't be afraid to build anything. Uh, just build it, and if you screw it up, start over. So please like, share, and subscribe if you like this kind of content. Uh, and we'll see you on the next build. Thanks for watching.